If you find that you keep forgetting to check your spam folder and end up missing emails that could be important, then this tip is for you. Now I'm in my Gmail on desktop. Now if you can't see the spam label in the menu on the left hand side here, just click into the more under this top section here, click on there and the spam label will be listed here. So if you have an email in your spam label that shouldn't be there, you can actually, when you click into the email, you can actually click on report as not spam and Google will move that email back to the inbox and it will also remember this action in future. So in theory, any emails from this address should no longer go to your spam label. You can also set the spam label to appear in your menu whenever there's any unread emails in there. So to do that, you need to go into your labels settings. So click on more on the left hand side under this first section here, click on more and then go down to manage labels. And this will open up your settings in the labels tab here. Scroll down till you get to the spam section and you've got the options to either hide it completely. So this means it's not visible on the menu and you have to click on the more each time you want to check it, or you can choose to show it all the time. So it's permanently visible on the left-hand side menu, or you can have it so that it only shows in your menu if there's any unread emails in there. Now this is, this is what I have mine set to, and it's quite handy, especially if like me, you know that you'll keep forgetting to check it yourself. So when an email goes into your spam label, it will appear in the top section of your left-hand side menu, and there'll be a number next to it so you know how many unread emails are in there. So choose a setting that works for you, and don't worry about saving your settings because they're automatically saved. It's also worth pointing out that any emails left in your spam folder are automatically deleted after 30 days. So that's another good reason to be on top of it. And now you've got no excuse for missing any emails. I hope you found that helpful. For more tips and tutorials, check out my Gmail playlist. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.